In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create your own office in your garden for as cheap as possible. And then I'm going to show you how to make the office as warm as possible through good insulation and other ideas that we can make the office better. If you're like me and work at home, uh, online business or whatever you're doing, even working for a local government or anything really, if you're working from home quite a bit and you need your own space, this is an option. Uh, it came to me last week, I was working at home and the kids are at home, I've got two young kids, uh, they were playing around, it was Christmas holidays, and I thought, oh, this is not good, I wasn't very productive, I wasn't really getting things done. Kids, as lovely as they are, uh, it wasn't their fault. I had no space to work. I was working in the lounge area. Um, we haven't got an office. I can't afford an extension uh, to build one. So I thought, okay, how can I make something as cheap as possible, uh, as effective as possible, and ensure that I uh, have a space to work? So that's what I thought. I thought, I know, I'll get myself a shed, a man shed, and uh, sort myself out an office. So I've done some research online. I've looked at pods and various other different things. Some of them are hugely expensive. Uh, I can't afford that. I've got a budget around about a thousand pounds, which is about $1,300 American dollars. So uh, I ordered myself a shed. It's arriving on Friday. So we're gonna put the shed up. And from there, we're gonna do some insulation and get it painted and make it as warm as possible. Uh, I'm going to look at sort of internet connections and stuff, uh, getting electricity in there and uh, hopefully I'll take the journey with me on this little video and might inspire you to do the same. Right, as you can see I've got a small space uh, between my garage and my greenhouse. Um, I've got a little bit of space at the back here so I can get behind doing any maintenance on the guttering which I've just moved recently and put a bit of an extension over there into a water bit behind. But, um, this is what I'm going to be using for the space for my office or shed slash office. As you can see, I've mapped it out for you so you can see roughly where it's going to go. I've looked at various different sizes and I, it's myself just working in there with it with this desk and a laptop and a, a VDU and that sort of thing. I don't need loads of space. Uh, I haven't got lots of products to keep or anything else. It's just really a desk and a, and a chair and somewhere warm, really. But also a potential in the future if I, my business grows, maybe bringing somebody else in with me. We've got a bit of space for two desks. So what I've done is I've researched online and I have gone for a 10 by six. So the width is 10 foot and the depth is six foot. As you can see, and I've mapped it out here. So it gives you a nice bit of space. I've got a gap about a foot behind, just enough for me to get there so I can do any maintenance I need to, to get to the guttering or painting at the back or get to the roof of, of the garage. So as you can see, I've, uh, I've got to do a bit more work here, but I've more or less flattened it out. I've put some chippings down. It's a bit boggy at the moment, as you can see, because I've had a, uh, a bit of a leak from the guttering, but that's all drying out nicely. The shed's being delivered on Friday. Right, as you can see, Friday is here. And we've taken the fence out and give it more room. We're gonna, we're gonna move the uh, shed slash office alongside the back of the garage. So it's sort of streamlined up with the, the pitch of the roof. So it shouldn't be seen so much from the house. Uh, I've got a little bit of prep to do for the people, for the guys get here and um, put it in. I'm gonna do a bit of raking. I've got a patch of um, uh, membrane to put down just over this area here. And then I'm gonna, uh, when they put the base down, I'm gonna put some uh, like uh, damp proof in between the base and the actual shed office itself so it stops the damp from coming up as well i think i recommend you do that it's a good idea it's what they do in houses and stuff in foundations to stop the damp coming up into the into the house make it a bit warmer as well so i've got some tools i've got a rake and i've got a little hoe and i'm gonna do a bit of raking just to prepare a bit of the area and uh we'll see how it goes Right, as you can see, I have uh, just finished off raking and I've cut a nice piece of membrane to go between the base, the foundation of the shed slash office and the um, actual office itself, just to give it some damp proofing. It's some, some material I had left over from a recent build, actually damp proofing material, which I, uh, I, I got left behind by the builders. So I've had that and I've used a piece there. Also great for lining your raised beds and uh, so keeping the weeds down as well in some areas as well. Very, very thick plastic. 
I don't know how environmentally friendly it is, probably isn't at all, but it is very good for keeping the damp out. So I've just cut that off, uh, just a 10 by 6 piece, and hopefully when the guys get here, I'm going to ask them to put it on top of the foundation, uh, between the foundation and the uh, shed. <laughs> As you can see, the shed slash office is finished. It took about, I don't know, half an hour for them to do it all together. It's pretty quick. Four, four sides, two bits of the roof, a base, foundation with the membrane. And I really recommend having the membrane. It'll stop the water and the damp coming up through the floor. It'll keep it drier as well. So when I start insulating it, it'll keep it nice and cozy. I've got a lock on the door. I've got a window that opens for the summertime south face anyways it's going to keep warm but if you insulate the roof inside and the walls it's going to keep the heat from coming in too much and overheating the office and making it uncomfortable for me so let's have a quick look inside finished product it's a bit of a not too much of a squeeze but needs must a key nice bit of lock i lock it inside as well so if i have a little sleep if i nod off in the afternoon i have got no one to disturb me now look it's a good size i'm thinking having the sort of desk here i think and then maybe having the uh some of the bits of the walls and stuff flip chart that kind of thing as i said before it's a bit of space if anyone else in the future comes online i've got another space for a desk it's good nice window i can see it on the garden it's a bit uh a bit uh, steamy at the moment, it's so cold, it's like minus three at the moment, so it's pretty cold. But inside, it's not too bad. I think the wood itself feels nice and warm. Um, yeah, I got the raft. That's what I'm really interested in, is this stuff here. I'm really interested in these, um, these beams. So the beams, I'm hoping to put the insulation betwe between that and then Sullitex, secondary insulation. And again, with the walls as well, uh, putting Sullitex in and having the beams exposed. Probably have some wood bits. I'm thinking having some wood bits along here to then allow me to put the plug sockets and things in there. And uh, probably having one socket sort of over here in this area here, and probably another sort of socket over this area here. I always have extension cables as well, couldn't I? So uh, again, the floor's pretty solid. It all feels really solid. It feels pretty solid. It doesn't... Um, if you close the door, it just it sounds really good. It's a good solid door. I'm going to put some insulation on the door as well. Keep the door nice and insulated. That'll help to keep down some of the uh, some of the um, you know loss of heat. I'm also going to put some uh, insulation on the door and probably the little brushes you get as well down the bottom to try and keep some of the draft away. But again, although it's cold outside, it's coldish, but it feels cozy it feels like you want to work in this space and when it's all insulated and it's all plasterboarded and i've painted it kind of a, a different color white color it should feel pretty big in here and for a desk and a chair you know for a space it's enough for me so next stage now i just i have bought some uh first primary insulation stuff you can see it here it's uh, just some cheap stuff from one of those uh, supermarkets it has a special offer half price i'm going to put this on the ceiling i think and as you can see, it's just basic insulation, like bubble wrap with um, tin foil. And it is called uh, multi-purpose insulation. I don't know if you can read that. It says reduces your energy costs, lightweight, flexible, easy to install for loft walls, sheds and greenhouses, creates more comfortable environment and approximately 4.5 meter square coverage. I should get quite a bit. I should at least do the roof. And I think I should have enough for the floor as well. But if not, I'm going to put secondary stuff on the floor, put some battens down and then put some um, chipboard over the top or some sort of um, board. I'm going to take advice. So I'm going to get a carpenter out there to help me a little bit just because of time for me. But I think you can do it yourself. No problem. I'll do some of it myself and some of it with the carpenter. All right. So next stage now is insulation. I took the battens and the bubble wrap 
and lay them on the floor and then put on some uh, wool or recycled plastic bottles insulation and then put the floorboards on the top of that and then screw it or nail them into position covering the whole floor then I worked on the walls, got the bubble wrap ready and stuck them on the um, walls bit of a TARDIS Doctor Who moment there and then I continued to put the um, insulation on that and then the plasterboard on top so the skirting board there and electrical cables went in from the previous shed working through the night the ceiling work took quite a bit of time it takes two people to put them up as well because it's quite uh, fiddly lots of cutting lots of screwing into the battens doing the door as well putting the skirting board on making it look nice and neat I do recommend a skirting board it keeps it all nice and tidy fill them in with mastic the cracks and then you start to whitewash them two coats of whitewash as one look, the first coat soaks in putting the door cover on and the floor tiles, I got the floor tiles from a local carpet shop after five weeks of the construction of the office slash shed, I might even use the word shed now but it's an office isn't it really um, it's finally finished I finished it this morning just put the desk in and I thought I'd show you around the door's looking pretty fine now it's really insulated I put the bolt on, so when I'm in, it, um, it locks and insulates really well. Carpet's all finished, as you can see. I've got my flip chart board, mirror in, drawers, and desk area. I went for a, a trestle style desk. As you can see, I mean, it's just the beginning of March. We've just had a huge uh, snowstorm the last couple of days. It's been really, really like minus four, minus five, but today it's sunny, it's warm in here. I haven't got the heating installed yet, look out for the other video to do with that, but um, it's really warm. I could sit in here and work quite comfortably with the sun coming in. Which is nice, you can see I've got a uh, four foot uh, trestle table, enough space for my laptop and uh, VDU. I've got uh, shelves and stuff, areas for drawers, I've also put a surge adapter um, plug socket in there and it's also got some USB you can see the USB ports um, within that as well linked to the main electrical electrical sockets just gives you a bit more options as well and there you go the finished product I'll get some uh, some sort of curtains or some sort of blinds up I'm not sure yet but because uh, it is self-facing this so it does get a lot of solar in solar in but uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm pretty happy with it. I can't believe that I've managed to do something like this. Considering I haven't got a lot of uh, experience with this kind of thing. I think it's looking okay. It's a good enough size as well. I'm going to get maybe a bean bag in the corner. So I can have a little sleep sometimes. Um, but I think it's looking, looking okay. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. And I hope you feel inspired to do your own office in the garden. Just remember, insulate where you can. Insulation is the key, I think. Insulation and uh, to ensure that you keep yourself warm and you don't waste a lot of money on, uh, on heating. Take care and thank you. Bye-bye.